Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Nocturne Master. Today we're back at this part of the game and uh I don't know what moon phase we should go into. Let me check this. It's not new, obviously, right? And it's I think we went in on full as well. Okay, so we went in on new three, half, seven, and full. So Two, five, and six. Well, we're going in on six then. Hi. This is new. Hi. This is a prison of souls, or four souls. Once you're inside, you can never get out. But if you do find a way out, please admit no. Oh. Uh, well, we can't use the map here, so I'm sorry, dog. Hell's maze. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, right is right. Hi there. Look, another demon who got lost in this prison. Do you think he can find his way out of here? I don't know. He'll probably give up and then run home and cry about it. <laughs> on Twitter. Come on. Twitter hasn't been invented yet. Think about it. How can he run home if he doesn't know where the exit is? Oh, that's true. So, this poor demon's lost and he's all alone. How sad. Hey, you there, if you want to go home, head north. You'll find your way out of here eventually. Go left. Oh, you're so close. You're bound to find the exit in any minute now. Well, which way is it? North or south? East or west? Good luck finding it. By the way, I know exactly where it is. But I'm an asshole. So, you know, you should eat me. Uh... Let's go right. And then we'll go left. And then we'll go right. And then we'll go left. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, hello? Are you gonna teleport me? Okay. Fair enough. I'm going north this time. And then I'll go right. Then I'll go left. Then I'll go right. Stop going right and left, Kronos, and then hi. Are you so close? We went left, left last time, right? So I'll go north. I think this is north. I don't know, is this north? Hell, that might be north over there. I guess it really depends on perspective of where we are, actually. Hi. Oh, nice crit. Please die. Just one dude, just die. Thank you. Should see how much those uh, little buff persona dudes are. So I can jack that guy's magic up to like... 40, I think the max is. Oh, no. Okay, this is new. Ah, oh, well, how... Did we get teleported over here? No, okay, so we went the wrong way. Kratos, are you taking notes of which way you're going? No. No, I'm not. Let's go left, then right. I'm like, yeah, you gotta like, yeah, stop. Just showing up, like seriously. If I had, you know, like physical blocking, that'd be fine main character doesn't have that. Not yet, anyways. But hopefully one day that'd be fantastic. So I can't really attack you all at once, because then you just, like, counterattack for 160, and that could kill me if you do it too many times. You are the couple. Right. And you said go north. And, I, and then I went left, so let's go north. Let's continue going north after I put this on. Oh, you liars. Do I teleport over here? No. Any whirly gigs on the wall? No. Hello? Okay. Okay, so it is left there. Uh, 
I have like 8,000 experience left for Kronos, right? Why don't you just go north here? Where's the fun in that, though? You're the your baby? You're the baby. Oh, this way? <gasps> don't get too close, it's dangerous. Just kidding. You think this is the exit? There was a guy who escaped from here after something he with something called the afterlife bell. He was saying that the bell has the power to resurrect the dead. If that's true, I wonder if he's come back to life in a cemetery somewhere. What does that mean? Also, like, what is this? It's like, what she sees. That's horrible, Kronos. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna go through this door. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, maybe I should've went through the whirly gig thing. I thought it was a trap. I thought it was a trap. But now we know how to get back there. Do we? Yes. Yes. I don't wanna fight Legion. It's annoying. Well, to be fair, Blue Man Group's annoying too, but we deal with them when we have to. By passing and just nuking the hell out of them. Uh, here? And then here? No, here. Yes, and then... In here. Alright, I'm looking up a guide. <laughs> um, I, I know there's a two- there's a couple more phases of the moon we can go into. Well, I need to find this goddamn key so we don't have another episode of me just standing here. Well, not standing here, but like going in circles. All right, listen to this shit. Sorry about the peppermint in my mouth, but apparently we gotta go back to the second Kalpa. And then we gotta go to that curse room, which I think is over there, right? Yeah, so it's that one right there. Can you believe that shit? That's not even the worst part. <laughs> Apparently, after this, we gotta go back to Ginza. Yeah, I know. What the hell? It's probably what the comments were talking about recently. It was like, you wouldn't be able to figure it out without a guy. Yeah, you're right. I would have I would have been running around that maze until I gave up. Well, or looked at a guide. Um, yeah, no, it's like... Uh, that's asking a lot. I'm not exactly sure how they expect you to figure that out. Maybe the afterlife bell or whatever the hell it's called? But they said cemetery, so I'm assuming you want me to go to one of those death rooms. Like with Death Cab for Cutie. Oh, right, the curse is not here anymore. Ah, yeah, that's right, we, we defeated the Lord of Flies. That makes sense. All right. At least I'm strong enough that I don't have to deal with, like, uh, random encounters here, right? That's nice. But we're over there. Okay. Not there. Oh, is this why he wouldn't give you the money? I remember people were saying you want to do it, like, before you get too far into the Amala network. Because eventually, uh, like, the dude won't offer the money any. Well, won't give you the reward anymore. I didn't know it was money. Hello? Hi. Oh, right. You guys show up here. Oh, okay. Wow, so you guys are really far farther ahead. I would love to get Nyx, but she's dead now. Okay, so Mana Surge, you got Vitality. That's not that great. Uh, let's see. What are you learning next? Prayer. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. I like the other one because it's cheaper. Though prayer does uh, heal like all status ailments, so that's cool. Yo, dog. All right, I'll tell you something you might want to know. My drinking buddy is somewhere in Tokyo getting hammered. He's got the key that opens the golden doors. All right. I'll see you guys in Genza.
All right, we're in Ginza, and look who it is. But before we actually do that, I uh, actually just fused uh, Black Rider with one of those uh, buffer dudes. So I got the uh, evasion buff and the debuff for the enemies. I also got some, like, uh, vitality and I think agility. So I was actually aiming for magic because it had the highest magic set. So I was like, oh, that's clearly the one that buffs the magic. Not the case. Hold it. Oh, you again. What? The star key? <laughs> I drank the damn thing. Or I might as well have. I sold it to a curious mannequin, see? I needed the money. What with my room being raided and all. Oh. Booze helps. <laughs> I can't even afford pants anymore. So now we need to go to... Oh, the collect mannequin. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I'll see you guys there. Alright, so where the hell is the collector? Oh, he's all the way down there. Right, I should really know that. I was just here like two episodes ago. Actually, not even two episodes ago. Like last episode. Buying a bunch of chalker drops. You could have gave me the star key then, dog. That would have been awesome, actually, if you just gave that to me then. Welcome. Hey, do you have the star well, key? You don't. What do you want? Talk. By the way, I got this from a demon for 60 Macarena the other day. Oh. It's called the star key, but I'm not interested in it. I'm only interested in man made items. So I'll give it to you for, if you like. Do you want it? Yeah. I see. Okay, then, here you go. That's what I'll do. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your shopping. What do you want? You know, man, well. because you're such a mm -hmm. nice guy and you just gave that for me to me for free. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, what do you thank want? Thank you very well. much. I'll do it. I know you will. You'll do anything for my money. I know. Trust me. I know. I'll meet you guys. Oh, no, wait. Not on the fourth Kelpa, right? They said we have to go from the third Kelpa to get to that room. That's what that little spirit said. Well, okay, there is a door on the third Kelpa, right? So I guess I'll meet you guys on the third Kelpa, then. I believe it should be right... Here! Yeah, I use the sun key. Cousin of the monkey. Oh, is it gonna be another one of these? Uh, okay. I feel like someone really liked this mini game back in development and was like, I need to make sure everyone, and I mean everyone, plays this if they want to do the Kalba stuff or the, the Mala stuff. Oh, that's fine. That's great. Can we, can we end this now? Great. If this was like the end. Now end? Thank you. Yay money. I don't really need it right now, but thank you. Hey, it's the sun key again. I feel like we only needed one of those doors. Ah, hi guys. How's it going? Let me uh, headbang at you. Thank you. Ow. That's not gonna work. Well, how about this? Now, I have a sinking feeling here that this, uh... This goddamn wall's not actually gonna go away when I flip this switch, right? This thing... It only affects the door, doesn't it? Please take the wall down. I'll call Chris Jericho. I don't have his number, but... I'll call him somehow. Please. P please. Please. All right. <sighs> All right. I guess I will go back to the fourth Calvin. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I gotta do two of these! Three of these, actually. Well, I could probably just walk to the fourth gal, but that's gonna take- well, whatever. Alright, so, we haven't gotten on in on five yet. So let's go in on five! Could be something new! Could be something blue! Could be the road to hell again! Which, uh... Is, in fact, very... The same thing that we've gone through, like, how many times now? Could look at my notes, but I'm not doing that. I'm 
no, 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 no more notes. Oops, there we go. I was trying to get my screen back in focus. I was just closing everything out. I was like, uh, I don't need them anymore, hopefully. Alright, so this will bring us to the door. So yeah, I went in all there, so the only place to go is here. Hi. There's a people. Will you look inside? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I just arrived. I don't know why you're clapping. Just get At some last, oil for that wheel. You have restored all of the menorahs to their rightful places. All of them? I promised earlier that I would answer all of your there's questions. There's another floor, isn't there? There's no detail. Yo, wait, no, there's another floor, isn't there? Like, people said if I completed that floor, I'd be locked into, like, an ending. So I wasn't gonna do that yet. Uh, maybe it just unlocks it normally. It may have occurred to you that the menorahs were not, in fact, stolen. Yeah, that is what everyone told me when they were like, "Oh, Lucifer is testing you. You're obtaining the menorahs to, to make a new demon. I'm a fly." In truth, my master gave them to those whom he deemed worthy. I must apologize for not being honest with you. But there is a reason. Okay. If you listen to what I have to say, I am sure you will understand. That's under like debatable at this point. The forces of light and darkness have fought throughout the universe, even beyond the flow of time. Their battles have affected every living being in existence. Cool. Demons and humans are no exception. They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. And the war still rages on, even as we speak. Haven't noticed. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos. One that would inherit his will and enter the final battle against the forces of light. Olé! <laughs> a lot of skeleton bros, dog. The fiends were prepared for the creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, the demon would become the fruit of destruction. The black hope that we had awaited for so long. That is what he and my master planned. The fiends and the labyrinth of Amala were ordeals. He and, and my master... Whoa. Wait, who's he? I thought you were talking about the dude next to you and the little kid. They're like, that's like the same person, right? Kind of thought they were, Lucifer. One fiend challenged you, unaware of the truth. While another fiend fell to you, dreaming of a future of chaos. Yes, this was all in preparation for the final battle. You have vanquished all the fiends. Whoa. And now here you stand, just as he hoped. Honestly, I thought there was going to be more. A demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. So, will you lend your strength to us for the sake of all who live in darkness? No. I cannot force you to help us. I know. If you choose to walk the path of a human, then there is no need for you to return here. But... If you have doubts about the laws of the universe, about fate, or the providence of the Absolute One, then you should come to us at the very bottom of the labyrinth. Cool story, bro. Can I at least unlock, like, the slope thing to that area? Right? So I don't have to walk here? There, you shall be born again as a full demon, body and soul. Can I be both? I like the idea of having the powers of the demon, but like not being a demon. Let me conclude 
by telling you about a human who has crossed your path. One who is drifting, being kept alive by fate. It is my master's wish that you listen before deciding upon a path to take. Okay. Oh, is that a skull, not a feather? The man I am referring to was known as Hijiri in your previous world. Oh, Hatman! He died, but as fate would have it, he carried on in the Vortex world. Wait. So you're not talking about when Belt Buckle Boy, like, dropped him. You're talking about... Before? Think back to when you first met him. To when the conception occurred. Okay. So what, has he been a ghost this entire time? Hijiri shared the fate of all the others who perished in the dawning chaos. As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began, and his life ended. Is that why he went insane there at the end? Did it not seem odd to you? That he was in the Vortex world, unaffected, unchanged. Uh, all honesty, I don't think I thought about it. <laughs> I might have thought about it at one point, but uh, no, it never really crossed my mind. It was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. Okay. He was a being toyed with by fate, denied the respite of death, and condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. Dope. Uh, what's the mortal sin? His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world. To record the balance of events through all the ages. So he's he never ending? A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with a cup. He was condemned to wander the infinite span of time. So wait, is he immortal? Because that sounds sick. Man can change the course of his next life by virtue of his karma. But that privilege was taken away from Hijiri. Though his body may perish, his soul will remain oh, unsaved. Oh, okay, okay. He must continue on with his task. That still sound. Does he- he doesn't remember it then. So it's like he's a new person, so he gets resurrected. Right? But didn't you just say humans have a... But you just said humans get resurrected by, like, the fate of their comma, right? But his just happens? So he always gets resurrected as a human, though, right? That's cool. It's better than, like, getting resurrected as a grasshopper. He lives a cursed, eternal life. Yeah, people say like cursed. I don't, know. I don't know if I agree with that one. Watch and record the history of the world. Witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for your unforgivable sin. What? What do you do? <gasps> Did he return to tape the blockbuster without rewinding it? Do you understand now? No, actually, I actually have no fucking idea what you're talking about. So, uh, he has eternal life, which I guess is a curse. Uh, but it's more of his soul has eternal life. So, but he keeps getting, I mean, I'm assuming he gets, keeps getting resurrected, resurrected as this guy throughout ages, but he does, does he not know that? Cause he didn't seem like he knew that he started going crazy there at the end. Sure. By the will of Amala, he was given a life of torment. A life of torment sounds awful though, but unless that torment's just like living your everyday life. He was like working for a newspaper, wasn't he? And emerged in the vortex world without realizing that he had died. That's like the best possible death. You died without Soon realizing it. Your paths crossed again. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he has unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Tragically, he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. Oh, okay. So, he's being punished for something he doesn't remember. <sighs> I mean... 
Yeah, I, I, on the scope of things, I totally get that. But it, if you're resurrecting them with no memory of past events and causing them to suffer, it's kind of like a bit much, right? Maybe like, I don't know, torture them for a couple of, you know, centuries or lives. That's fine. But eventually, like, you're, you're just torturing someone that has no idea what they did. Or even if they're being tortured, I guess. He believes that he survived the conception and has acted accordingly. As for the results of his efforts, you already know the outcome. Yeah, belt buckle boy killed him. In the body of a mannequin, Hijiri challenged those vying for creation. Wait, what? He was a mannequin? And he lost his body once again. Man, mannequins just get f just shit on in this game. He is now on a journey to a new land of suffering. Cool. But his will can never be freed, and his sin never redeemed. What'd he do? Like, I might be alright with it if you told him what he did. Do you want your life to be predestined as well? Or would you rather choose your own actions? If you do not Wait, what's wish the predestined to be ruled one? by destiny, if you would prefer to walk with demons on a new, untrodden path, then please, come visit my master. What's the predestiny for me, though? Is it like ruling the world? Because I would rather that. You can open the door ahead with the menorah I gave you. Will you come meet my master? Okay, well, yeah. Then, we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. I will open the way to the last door. Please use the menorah and come see us. I'm assuming Move I'm not locked into an ending soon. yet. Like, I'm assuming I have to complete the next Until floor. Until then. Because my plan was to get to that floor and then leave. <laughs> and never look, well, not never look back, but like go and complete the rest of the game like it's like normal. And then, uh, then come back here and do this. I don't like the sound that makes. Very squishy. Okay, down we go. Please don't bring me this. God damn it. You had, you had one chance for a death. Hello? Oh God. Okay, that, that made me jump a little bit. It was a little rude. Ow. Ow! I don't even know if I can die here. I just let it kick my ass. I don't know. Ow. Then again, I would totally expect this game to actually kill me in here. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, stop it. You attain 84 MAGA. Uh, Labyrinth of Amala, 5th Kalpa. How bad did I get hurt? Not that bad. Okay, here you go. Demons grow restless? Well, demons can rest this, alright? Uh, sure. I'll make sure I don't like save over like the save before doing this just in case just in case uh you want to go in or do you want to go back up top what time is it uh let's see what it looks like and then we'll turn around and leave it looks exactly like a door leading into this place. I'm a little worried. Oh, enemy. Oh, these ladies. Oh, we need to go see if, uh... If Yakshini's ready to go. 
assuming she is. We've been, we've been here a while. Stop avoiding me! Ow! This is rude, really. Stop it! You know what? Pass. You mi- You miss! Pass! Do this again! I need to heal! Thank you! I'll go in there and heal. I probably shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have come. Shit. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It took you long enough. Oh, it's Though you. I suppose you deserve some credit for making it down here in the first place. With power like yours, you might even fit right in with the Kuzanoha clan. I don't know who that is. Be that as it may, the road only gets rougher from here. Now, I'm sure you've noticed the great squall brewing between those who side with the old man and the others who stand in the light. That storm is getting darker by the minute. And we're not the type to just sit back and watch as anarchy takes its Yeah, course. I really shouldn't have come here. I should have saved, you're right. Oh, well, well, I mean, I had saved, like, before the cutscene, right? Didn't I? I saved in, like, Asakusa? Oh, that was before the cutscene. So, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was no. thinking you could use a detective. No. A mighty fine devil summoner on your team. He's been through quite a few battles himself, to say the least. Wait, are you not fighting me? Well, how about it, new partner? Yeah? Good answer. Seems like the time we spent here in the Vortex world wasn't a waste after all. Now, while it is standard procedure to either pay off or offer something snazzy to our demon pals, today we let the Mahjong tiles decide. What? The rules are simple. Uh, hmm? What is it, Ryder? Yeah? Just like that? Are you serious? Uh, if you say so. I have no idea what you're talking about. We will hold two numbered tiles face down. If you pick the nine tile, we give you one yen. Oops, it's a uh, maka here, isn't it? We'll give you one maka. But if you manage to pick the one tile, you get an even better deal. A whopping 100,000 maka. What? So, which tile will you choose? Oh, God damn it. Where's the coin of gender choosing? There it is. Alright. Heads will do right, tails will do left. I dropped it one second. <laughs> Heads. <laughs> Looks like you ended up with nine. Tough luck, but at least you get something out of it. Okay, Rhino, give this man a marker, would you? I don't. I don't care. I'm rich. Thank you. Well, now that we got our contract worked out, I think we ought to know our client's name. Wouldn't you say? I'm Kronos. Some call me X. You just have to ride out. Uh, so the demi fiend does have a name. No, it's Kronos, but yes, yeah, sure. Let's work together and get to the bottom of this case. So we're not fighting! Oh, between God and the devil, we really did get in way over our heads. But to ensure the future of the capital, we'll give you every last ounce of power that Yadagarasu has to offer. I don't know what any of that means, but okay. Yo, I thought I, I walked into a boss fight, so wait. Okay. Um. Yeah? You're level 80? Okay, get the fuck in my party, alright? Uh, return the stock. 
what skills do you have? Physical elect force. Soothe and anger. Okay. Am I really gonna get rid of freaking? I guess Tatiana. No, she's like the only healer in my group. So it's either Monkey Man or Black Rider. Ah, shit, Black Rider, I'm sorry. I'll bring you back later. Maybe I, I'm leaving? Because I actually kind of like thought I was totally walking into a boss fight there for a second. So I'm leaving. And I'm going to go save. And then we're going to go back to the main story. Yeah. I'm going to save in a different spot just in case I lock myself into an ending. But... No, no, I don't trust you. Yeah. But yeah, I will see you all next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Goddamn slope puzzle thing. I'll see y'all later. Bye.